Okay, school is getting in back in session. Many students already back in school. We're still setting up, so we're gonna keep talking. <laughs> all right, this is fine. This is how life goes. Um, but we wanna make sure that kids get good nutrition. It's funny because yesterday we had a life coach here mm -hmm. talking about how you, you know, every teacher can tell when a child is tired. Yep. I think they can also tell if they didn't have a good breakfast. Absolutely. Or if they're just not getting the nutrition they need yep. because you're just not ready to learn. Right. So that's why Kristen Kirkpatrick is here, our nutritionist. Why am I out of breath? You're the one that just got. <laughs> so I did, okay, so anyway, can, is there good. anything else you need to pull out? Let's no, we're talk good. About let's good let's talk about all of this. It's good extra protein. Good extra protein. So that's the first thing we want to do okay. is we want to get more protein. Studies show that when you get protein at breakfast, your cravings are a little bit better throughout yeah. the day, and it sets the stage. So um, obviously, we've got some great options here. Oatmeal is not a protein source, but I put protein powder in. I also put in hemp seed, so that is a high protein seed. So there's ways you can kind of bump it up. I The protein powder thing is a big deal. A oh, lot yeah. of people do it, and they said it even adds flavor sometimes. It adds flavor. You can go unflavored if your kids don't yeah. like that. So that's a definite, like a definite option of what you want to do as well. Okay. Um, the other thing I recommend for improving nutrition throughout the school year is adding color. Color. You can even make okay. this like a competition. So which family member can get the most color today? Color. And so like as you can see here, I have I have red, I have uh uh, carrots here, which are orange. I have black beans. This is tricolored quinoa. So the deeper the hue of any plant, the more benefit it has. Oh, so as up. long as they're getting color, we want to make sure that they're getting enough. Um, and then we got some in our drinks too, and we can transition to that as well. That that helps them drink water, does it not? It helps them drink water. And I have to tell you, my boys are like chocolate milk addicts, and I don't yeah. think I'm alone. No. So no, you're not. We also need to bump up their drinks in terms of lowering the sugar. Okay. And 100% juice is not a good option. Nope. I know it's 100%, the marketing's great, but other options could be something like a coconut uh, water. You could do something that you actually kind of spruce up with your own fruit. Uh, there's a lot of options you can do. You can do a protein drink. So what we have to do is get out the juice, we have to get out all of those things, and so we can lower the sugar for our kids. Okay. That's a big one. Simple enough. Simple enough. Uh, rethink your fats. So I have a lot of my mom friends, I see low-fat milk, low-fat yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. Kids need fats. They actually need it to grow, full fat. to thrive, full fat, and they need more than us. Okay. So full fat yogurts, uh, you know, full fat milk, anything like that we want to kind of bump up. And then even with things like seeds. So like pumpkin seeds have iron. That's a great way to kind of get other nutrients. And they're yummy. Kids will eat them. And they're yummy. Kids will eat them as well. And then the last tip is a little bit of a bribery. Sometimes we got to go there. Hey, that, right? that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, and that is to have your child try a new food before dessert comes out. Yeah. Dessert can't be free. So no, if you free. get them to try new things, like even if it's something like a pepper or something to that extent, we can get them to eat better, maybe add some better habits. Yeah, and I think that breakfast then sets a tone too because lunches are rushed. I, yep. I feel bad for kids, but I also know schools have no choice because they got to get the kids in, they got to get them out, they got to recess. Right. That's but right. But when they get chatty, then they don't eat they half get of chatty, their lunch. And the school year is an opportunity for more structure. Yeah. Right? And more opportunity for the family to all sit down at, at the meal and talk about their food and talk about the colors and have those conversations that are meaningful to kids. So make mom, maybe breakfast and dinner really, really healthy and yep. then hope for the best. And I know Fingers we talked about some of that. Yeah. Right. And also, I know you mentioned <laughs> peanut butter and almond butters and all those good proteins. Okay. Whew, you are good, girl. <laughs> you came in here. We unpacked. Hey, that was like great. I we got our tips. In from the grocery yeah. store. <laughs> Kristen, thank you. you. Gave us all the tips we needed thank to know. You. Tom, thank I mean, you. seriously. That was exciting. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, but watching you guys set up, that was yeah, exciting. Yeah, they good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Thanks, Kim. Thank you.